This week, we're gonna bring you five tips for email marketing. What's up, fish fans? My name is Marcus, and you're watching Marketing Madness, the Bluefish vlog. We think content and social media marketing are both wonderful, but social posts have a short lifespan and heavy competition. Not saying they're not worth the investment of time and money, but email is definitely king when it comes to engaging with an audience. Let's dive into the five email marketing tips we have for you this week. Tip number one, email blasts are dead. The day of the old spray and pay email blast is gone. Consumers have gotten used to being marketed to with material that is relevant to their needs and interests at a specific time. We have Facebook to thank for this modern marketing miracle. To earn engagement, emails need to be catered to each lead's specific interests. To cater specifically to the needs of the leads, instead of using the spray and pray approach, your leads must be segmented into relevant groups. Most email services allow for segmenting lists. Now is the time to do that. Tip number two, optimize for mobile. I hope by now we've beat it into your head that you need to be thinking mobile first. Well, guess what? This is even true with email campaigns. If your emails forego mobile optimization, you'll likely lose a huge portion of your audience. Tip number three, engage with trigger-based campaigns. Trigger-based campaigns using systems like Salesforce, Pardot, HubSpot, or Drip can be a marketer's best friend. These campaigns automatically send out communications based on specific actions or inactions. And when these campaigns really start to shine is in the sales cycle. With marketing automation, you can establish a sequence of emails that trigger based on some established actions. And some examples are welcome emails, thank you emails, reminder emails, discount emails, and your shopping cart has an item in it emails. In essence, the platform guides a subscriber through the nurturing process for you. Based on a sequence you design up front, and this reduces your effort using data to, to deliver relevant emails and segmenting contacts into lists automatically. Tip number four, personalization. Now personalization is the trick of the trade that increases open rates and engagement. You have the option to talk about a specific action, call the recipient by name, or speak to the last engagement. In order to personalize emails, you're going to need more than just an email address. However, be careful when attempting to collect this information. This is a delicate balance and you do not want to lose someone just because you are prying a little bit too much. Over time, you can build an information gathering strategy that enables the types of personalization that build both relationships and revenue. And tip number five, customize dynamic content. With dynamic content, you can take personalization to the next level. Dynamic emails can display different content based on historical data collected. There are a variety of uses for dynam dynamic content, including showing specific specials based on past purchases and timers based on when the email is open to show urgencies, personalization by location, time of day, and much more. To take advantage of these smart emails, you're gonna have to be using some sort of smart automated system. Being completely transparent, this will come at an added expense, but understanding the power of these well-timed and dynamic emails can unleash your marketing to the next level. At the end of the day, all of these techniques focus on nurturing leads in a more personal, direct, and engaging way. Boosting engagement with interactive emails, build relationships with personalized and dynamic content, nurture with audience segmenting, and automatic triggers, and connect anywhere with mobile optimization. To adopt email marketing into your current lead nurturing program, start by implementing a single strategy. And if you lack relevant data, segmenting based on gated content downloads is a great place to start. If you have more data than you know what to do with, consider implementing personalization with dynamic content or automatic triggers. By starting with a single strategy, you can grow email marketing initiatives with less stress and get more return. Remember, if you need help implementing your email marketing campaign, we'd love to talk. Well, that's a wrap for this week. I wanna thank you for checking in. Make sure to hit that like button, and if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. And if you want to talk about how Bluefish can help you grow your business, just send us a message and we'll get the conversation started.